Hey guys, Coach Griffin here. I'm just going to do a quick video on how easy it is to make Shakeology. A lot of people think, oh, I don't have time, but if you don't have time to make Shakeology, then you probably don't have time to make another healthy meal. So it's quick and it's easy. We're going to, uh, let's see, it is 12.31 right now. Hopefully I remember to look at the clock afterwards. Oh, we got a clock right in the upper corner there. It's going to take less than five minutes, and it all depends on what you've got, what you're using, and everything like that. There are so many recipes. So first, We've got our blender ready to go. I always like to clean it right after. If you can't do that, that's fine, but I like to do it so it's ready to go for the next time. So I'm gonna plug that in. I always leave it right here, easily accessible next to the fridge. One, two, three. I'm gonna grab my milk, because that's what I'm having today, with some strawberries. Nice big bag, full supply, we just got some. And I'm gonna add a little extra water. Okay, so my blender here has a measuring already on it. So it says one, two, three, so I know how many cups. So I always do one cup of milk, nice and easy. And a little tip from Janelle Summers that I got the other day, she adds a little extra fluid. So I'm gonna put not a full cup, just a little bit, maybe half a cup, just to give me a little extra shake and not too, too frozen. Some people don't like it super slushy and I like it milkshakey but sometimes you want it a little bit more drink like. We're going to scoop out some of our chocolate Shakeology. A nice full scoop you see here. Go ahead and dump that in. Perfect. I always like to use ice in mine but because I'm using frozen strawberries I won't use ice. But I have a nice easy ice tray. These are really small so they blend up really well. Of course you can use big ice cubes, but these work great. And then we're gonna do a cup of strawberries. And you can even do it with peanut butter. I'm not in the mood for peanut butter today, so I'm not gonna do peanut butter. But we got some big strawberries here. Let's see, five should be good. So we got a nice cup of strawberries, drop that in. I had some banana and peanut butter yesterday, so I'm just gonna stick to the frozen strawberries today. I'm going to go ahead and put that back. So I'm going to show you even with cleanup, it's nice and quick. Everything's back in the fridge. We're going to cover up. You're going to hear the blender for a second here. I'm going to grab a knife. Okay, so everyone's blender is different. Mine, usually some get stuck on the side. Some people don't like that, you know, it annoys them, but I like to kind of go in there, scrape it off, and just mix my shake up a little bit more, and then blend it again. I always do it on smoothie first, and then I do shake afterwards. So it's all your own, what you like. You can do it on mix, whatever your blender is. Um, there are a lot of easy, small, portable blenders. Hamilton Beach has a great one. Um, my coach Trina Gray uses it. I got one for my mom. She uses it, um, and it works great. So we're going to mix that up again. Perfect. And we are currently at 12.35. And I didn't even pour yet, but that's with cleanup and everything. So I'm pouring this into my cup. Look how amazing that looks. Nice and filling. I don't know about you, but when I have a milkshake, it always fills it up fills me up. So I'd rather have a milkshake that's going to have all my vitamins for the day, all my vegetables, everything I need to have a nice healthy meal. Now I'm going to go clean that up, but I'm not going to have to show you that. So you can see right behind me, the clock was at 1230 and now it's at 1235. So less than five minutes, everything from the start to the finish with everything away. I think that's pretty good. So hopefully you guys decide to make one for yourself. If you want to try a sample, just message me at facebook.com slash coachgriffinfitness. Hope to see you soon. Bye.